Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Another burger video today. This one just so happens to be one of my all time most requested. The one, the only, big boy classic, double decker cheeseburger. All right, now why is this burger, the big boy classic, such a significant burger historically here in the US. It actually beat out the Big Mac as far as being the first double-decker burger to be produced for a consumer. The whole burger consists of a quarter pound of beef, so both patties, they're only an eighth of a pound each. Now what I have here are two meatballs that I've weighed out. Each one of these meatballs is one eighth of a pound. So what we are going to do is form two very small, very thin patties. I'm just going to flatten this out. Try to keep it as thin and consistent and circular as possible. All right, here we are. One more to go. Now, since these patties are so thin and I definitely anticipate these things shrinking a bit, I went ahead and went from my normal 80% lean to a 92% lean. These are just tiny patties and uh, I don't want them to get completely dwarfed by the bread. Another thing I wanted to point out is this thing right now is pretty much stuck to this butcher paper and I don't want to tear this meat. So what I'm going to do is put both patties in the freezer. It'll be impossible to work with this as a fresh meat patty. Anyway, uh, while these are in the freezer, freezing, I will move on to the next step. We're going to make that uh, special red relish. All right, now the Big Boy Classic is actually dressed very simply as far as the condiments are concerned. It has mayo on there and then a red relish. I looked all over the place trying to find a cloned recipe for this red relish. Couldn't find any. I was finding claims, but it was actually like a knockoff a Thousand Island dressing, which is nothing like this red relish. As I continued to research, I found a forum. It was a nutrition forum and someone had posted a label off of a one gallon container of Bob's Big Boy Red Relish, which led me to believe it was probably an employee. And just out of curiosity, because I thought this could give me a kind of a foundation to build off of, opened my fridge and I grabbed a bottle of chili sauce. And what do you know? This ingredients list reads off almost verbatim to the Bob's Big Boy recipe with the exception of relish. So, you know, you guys can be alchemists and add all these funky ingredients, but I'm guessing that the original was just this simple. Red relish is made from chili sauce and sweet pickle relish. And I'm not even measuring guys, I'm just adding that chili sauce and then enough relish until it looks correct. And there you go guys. You Google image any Bob's Big Boy, Big Boy Classic Burger and you look at the relish and I'm telling you, this is it. Tastes like it too. So I'm going to go ahead and refrigerate this. And when I see you next, we're going to be ready to cook. Okay, now just like the Big Mac, the Big Boy Classic has that club section, that other piece of roll in the middle. So you can't buy those in the store, you have to make them. There's two ways you can do this. First way is to simply take your knife and cut you know, the center section out of the top roll. I don't like doing that because it creates too small of a roll for the top, too thin and the circumference just doesn't match for me. I'm a little bit weird that way. So what I am going to do is take the heel section of another piece of hamburger roll and just cut the bottom off with a nice sharp bread knife. There you go guys. Voila. If you have a problem with that, you can make garlic bread out of this or you can take two tops and put them together. <laughs> then you have like a wimpy hamburger from Popeye. Tell your kids, hey, this is what wimpy eats on Tuesdays. 
but again, that's just the way I am. I like it to be as perfect as I can get it. And this is the way I've developed. Anyway, grill is piping hot and ready to cook these burgers up. I'll meet you on the patio. All right, guys. Again, my favorite time, cooking time. Got those frozen burgers. Get these on the griddle. Then with just a little bit of salt. We're going to take those uh, buns, get them on my cast iron grill here to get them a nice toast. Is a flip. And with a little bit more salt. All right, we're ready to put this burger together. Take that bottom section, that heel section, and I'm going to spread mayonnaise on there. Take some shredded iceberg lettuce. Slice of American cheese. Take patty number one, place that on top. That center club section here, put that on top of there. Patty number two. Now that secret red relish. And there you have it guys. The Bob's Big Boy Classic Double Decker Cheeseburger. Let's give this a shot. I'll tell you what it looks exactly like that burger that I remember so fondly. Mm. Again, guys, sometimes simple is best and it's pretty darn simple. Thanks again for stopping by. Keep those suggestions rolling in. I got a bunch kind of in the queue to do for these burgers, but I really have a lot of fun with these. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.